In the past, we covered a method to jump off the chain or to throw yourself off the chain when you were unable to use the teleport function. There are some places where you will go and you will not actually get the icon to click on. So in those cases, in the past, what we were doing is we were doing the chain throw where we would grab the chain like this and then we would basically rock our body from side to side and then we would throw ourselves onto the platform. And it's still a viable method and it works, but I learned another method from Burnt Pan the other day and I'm pretty sure there's some of y'all that are probably already using this. I've never used it up until recently and it's actually a really good method as well too. You just kind of get, got to get used to it, so to speak. What you're going to want to do is look in the direction you want to go and then at the same time you're going to want to do is press your jump button. So in this case, my jump button's going to be in my right hand, it's going to be my thumb. And then on the left hand, I'm going to aim in the direction that I want to go. I'm going to press in that direction with the thumbstick. So basically something like this. But I'm going to, I'm not going to aim at the ground. I don't want to teleport. I'm going to aim over here and I'm just going to press forward. And while I'm pressing forward, matter of fact, I'll do it from here. I'm holding forward down, right? Now I'm going to jump and it's going to launch me in that direction. Now this time, let's try and land on that box. Well, we landed on in front of it. <laughs> One more time. That, that's not, that didn't work. <laughs> not that way. This is why it's good to practice. Because you don't want to be in the dungeons practicing this. What you want to do is you want to train this in closed closed <laughs> in contained circumstances like this you're not being attacked you're not thinking about where you need to go who else is in the group or anything like that it's i'm just here all i'm trying to do is learn the method of being able to launch myself off of this chain and at first you may get it you may not get it i'm wondering if the direction of the hand placement has anything to do with it. Let's try. This is how you figure it out, right? So, it's about to like something like that. I'm not, yeah, something like it. No. And I see that my difficulty is actually getting the jump off of the chain. So I have to basically just keep practicing this until I can actually just get the jump off it first. Right? Because I seem to keep falling down whenever I press the button. I'm wondering if it has something to do with the height that I'm at. Because I'm actually at the max height right now. Right? So technically, this would kind of be like the ceiling, right? So what am I jumping into? The ceiling? So let's try it a little bit lower. That's what it is. There's a ceiling up there. And I keep run jumping into the ceiling. So now you're aware that if you try to do it off the very top of the chain, you're gonna hit a ceiling. But if you do it like this, you can easily jump off. <laughs>